Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create an animated mood board in Adobe InDesign. In this example, I'm going to go over how to use the animation and timing panels to create an interactive moving mood board. So let's get started. Okay, let's start creating our animated mood board. As you can see on my screen here, I have one that I created previously. It does have animation as well as timing settings applied, but we're going to start from scratch and I'm going to show you how to go through the design process and then we'll add the content and apply the animation as well as the timing to play together. So I set up another page here. We're going to get started and I'm going to do the exact same layout as you see here. To start, I'm going to grab my pen tool in my toolbar. And basically I want to create two shapes. One that will hold a pattern color with the logo and the other will have just an, an image of a handbag. So I'm going to use my guides as reference points here and I'm going to start in the top right hand corner on this guide and margin over here on that guide and margin right here right here and then close the path like so. So I have one shape there and right now it just has a green fill. I'll change that in a moment. So grab your pen tool again and we're going to create the same kind of shape. This one will be a little bit longer to hold the image like so. And the reason for this is when I'm when I'm animating it, it creates kind of a cool shape. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually this first one, I want it to have this color applied. So I'm just gonna grab my eyedropper and click that. And this one does not need a color. So I'm just gonna go to my swatches and say none. I'm going to go ahead and select both of them and go up to object content. And I want this to both to be graphics. So that's good if you're laying out a page and adding placeholders. When you put your frames in, you can actually apply them as specific uh, intended, uh, intended frames like I did here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up and I wanna click on my donut or content grabber and do Command C, Control C on Windows. Go to this shape, right click, and I wanna paste into I'm just going to adjust that a bit. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to click on the logo command C or control C on windows. And in this case, I want to edit and paste in place. Perfect. This, this frame here, I'm basically just going to drag an image in. drop it in. Oh, it didn't work. Let's try that again. That should work now. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to create another picture box in the middle over three columns, and I'm going to drag another image in. That's good. I have a PSD uh, a pair of sunglasses that I cut out in Photoshop. So I'm going to add those on top. It's actually from the, the same image. What I did is I, I cut them out and then I used the content aware fill to make it look like they weren't even there. Reason being is I can have these come in in an animated fashion and it just looks a little bit better. Okay, so let's put those there. That's good. Next, I want to create this image like so. So you can use the pen tool or grab the rectangle frame tool and draw out another box that's two columns. And instead of using the pen tool to create those shapes, what you could do is grab the scissors tool and cut that at that corner and this corner. And you should have two separate frames now. You see, I do. I'm just going to shift one over just slightly, just so I have a little gap there. We can fix that after. I'm going to grab the image and drop it in here. And 
And then I'm gonna Command C, click on this frame and paste that in. So InDesign continues from where it was copied and you see it fills in nicely. You get a cool effect that way. Again, if I wasn't animating this, it, there would be no real reason to do something like this, but the fact that they're gonna be coming in together and almost like putting a puzzle together kinds of, kind of creates a cool effect. For the other stuff, I'm just gonna copy these for now. Or what I'll do is, because I want the size, I'll copy, oh, I got an idea. I'll grab this one here, Command C, and I'll drag that there. Hold your Alt key and drag. I'm sorry, Option for Mac, Alt on the Windows, Option drag. And then Option drag. So you got four all together. And then I need these so I can, I can go ahead and just sample from them. Perfect. Good. That color, that's good. And then the last one, good. So I can get rid of those now. So that's my palette for this mood board. So this is a great way if you're starting a branding design to get inspired and create your own for yourself or just even for a client. Okay, so let's bring in these uh, watches that I've created. There should be two of them, so watch one. I'm just gonna drag that out like so. And then I'll grab the second one, drag that as well. Perfect. Okay, so I have two, two of them there. I'm just gonna adjust the frames a bit to tighten them up. And then how did I position these? Yep, I'm gonna bring them in closer together. Collect both, hold your shift key and hover over any of the corners and then rotate it to constrain the proportions. You see how it's rotating. If you just do it free form, it's not as accurate. So hold your shift key down and it'll hold it down and it'll do in degrees of, yeah, 45 degrees. Okay, good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna position these over here Hold shift, command, and drag those out. And then you can kind of adjust them the way you want. And then finally, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy these and file, I'll edit, paste in place. And I'm gonna remove the animations from these. None. Good, so we have our layout with all our elements in place. Now it's time to add the animation as well as timing. Now that the content's been added on the page, it's time to add the animation and timing settings. So let's go up to Window, Interactive, Animation. Let's also open Window, Interactive, Timing. And let's go ahead and group these two windows together so we can toggle between the two. First, we're going to focus on animation. So let's start over here. I'm going to actually click and drag to hold this and group all of it together. So Command G. Now the pattern, color, and the logo are together. In animation, we want to choose, actually let's rename this. So this is called logo. In the preset, Let's choose fly in from top. You can see a green arrow that shows you which way the animation will take place. So because this is from the top, it'll drop down. Let's click on the image of the handbag. You can see it's called purse JPEG. The preset will be fly in from bottom. 
So you guessed it, one of them is going to come in from the top and this one will come in from the bottom and it will connect the two pieces together. Another thing I want to change here is the duration. I don't want this to play at one second, so I want this to be 0.5, okay? Let's click on the purse image and change that to 0.5. So the idea is I want this to kind of play all at the same pace and not have any lag. Let's click on the sunglasses and you can see it's called sunglasses-solo.psd. You can rename it. I'll just keep it like that. I know what it's called. The preset is also fly in from the bottom and the duration again is 0 0.5 or just 0.5. I also want to rotate these so when it falls down, I want it to I want it to to finish off at 45 degrees. Okay, you could see that I've applied that to animate to rotate at 45 degrees. Let's move on. I'm going to click the first shape of my image of the model wearing the sunglasses. You can see model sunglasses. I'm going to uh, this one will be fly in from the top. Also at 5.5. Let's click on the second one here. And I'm just going to rename this one to dash one so I can tell which one's which. This one will fly in from the bottom. What did I set that one to? Yeah, good. So that's from the top, that's from the bottom. You can see the events on all of these. Well, this will all occur once the page is loaded. Okay, so that's how I want that to be. So the duration on this one is also 0.5. Perfect, let's move on. Let's click on the first color, which is called light. Actually, let's call this one gray. Perfect. So gray, I want this to fly in from the right at 0.5. So try to remain consistent. You don't have to have the duration all at 0.5. You can have the first part of your mood board come in at one second and then speed up everything else. That's that's a cool look too. But I'm, I'm doing this for consistency is keep everything at 0.5. So when it animates, it's animating at the same duration. Okay, let's click this and this one's called dark green. Actually, let's rename these here. So dark green two. What's this one called here? So I should rename these to something else because I've already renamed that one. So I'm going to call this gray two. Dark green two. So this one's going to uh, this one's going to fly in from the left. Okay, on page load at 0.5. Let's go here. This one's light green two. This one's going to fly in from the right at 0.5. And this one, let's just call it, uh, this is light green two. So this is coral two. And this one will come in from the left. So right, left, right, left. That's exactly what I want at 0.5. That's good. Let's click on the first watch. Let's call this watch dash zero one. And let's make this come in from the right. And this one zero two. Let's call this one uh, also come in from the left. Let's set the duration to 5.5. .5. That's good. And then finally, I'm going to click on graphic frame. Let's make this dash zero one. This one will fly in from the bottom at 0.5. Let's click on this second one. Zero two. This one's going to come in from the top at 0.5. And this last one dash zero three is going to come in from the bottom 
and make it 0.5. So as you can see, that takes a little time to do, but once you've set all those animations, let's test it out and see how it looks. And of course, while you're doing this, you're gonna have to test things out to make sure that it looks just the way you want it. There we go. So all the animation does work, but you can see it takes quite a bit of time to get through. I want to speed it up even more by having things play together. So let's go ahead and do that. With your timing window open, you can see everything that's on my layout is listed here in my timing panel. So you can see logo, purse, sunglasses, solo, and so on. What I can do is actually select multiple files or objects together and play them together so it is more seamless and it speeds up the actual play time. For instance, I'm gonna click on logo and hold down my command key and click purse.jpg. And down below here, I can click this little icon. It's an arrowhead with a link to play together. So let's go ahead and do that. The sunglasses, I want the solo sunglasses. I just want to play it by himself, so that's okay. But this image here, model glasses and then model glasses one. I'm just gonna hold down my command key and then I'm gonna play those together. Gray two, dark green two, light green two, and coral two. That's my color palette to the right here. I'm gonna play all those together. And you can see once you click that link, InDesign links them within the timing window so they will actually play together. Watch dash zero one, hold command or control on Windows, click on the second one, play those together. And then finally click on graphic frame one, that's this. Hold down your shift key and click the last one and play those together. Now that they're all timed together, I'm going to click the preview spread EPUB and let's take a look at how that looks. It's much cleaner, it's a little quicker, and it's exactly what I was intending to do. So you can play around with other settings when you're doing this. Um, you can have it loop. But you don't want that, not in this case, because it's just better it plays together and then just sticks to a static look, okay? As a final step, I've just published this interactive mood board online. Let's see how it looks when you publish it online. I'm just going to refresh and it's going to, on page load, animate just the way we set it up with animation as well as timing. So that's how you create an animated mood board in Adobe InDesign using the animation and timing panels. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials to come. Have a great day. Bye now.